an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour. Okay, everybody, I recorded this because, first of all, I don't, re I don't remember if I reacted to this at all, but I'm going to react to it. I was listening to this, and I was cussing at my phone. This man, child, pissed me off all over again with his frickin' wah, 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 poor him. So let's listen, and then you guys can hear my great reaction on this bitch. I can even come in the courtroom without breaking down. It was times where I didn't even feel like I was gonna make it through a court proceeding. When I did have representation, it was times where I told my representation, no, I, I, I don't. And that wasn't because I just didn't want to come in the courtroom. It was because mentally I could not handle it. I couldn't. Having to be prepped for, 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 for everything that I was gonna walk into them them telling me you know it's gonna be this kind of atmosphere and expect this and expect this and and it's just like wow <clears throat> how am I gonna do this I, I, I want everyone to know though when you walk out of the courtroom and the cameras aren't rolling anymore. You don't have the world looking at you anymore. That's when you can feel like you're human again. When you can go back to your cell, drop your tears, pray, punch your mat if you're frustrated. Sleep it off. Wh whatever you may choose to do. And I wonder how things would be different if the cameras was rolling then. When we remove all this courtroom how would how would it be then? <clears throat> We've all done things in our life that we regret, that we're not proud of. That we don't know what we were thinking. And I forgot to say this, bitch boy Brooks. You know damn well you weren't gonna cry. You decided to be your own damn lawyer because you're so cocky and thought you could frickin' do better than a lawyer. Well, bitch boy, how do you feel now, you dumbass? And mentioning that when the cameras aren't there and all that, then you could feel human again. You're not a human. You're a thing, by the way, bitch boy. And guess what? They, i.e. the victims and survivors, on the opposite side of the courtroom that you were on, they didn't have a camera in their face every second during this trial. As far as, like, you know, the courtroom. You did, though, and you made sure you did. 
I've seen you plenty of times looking towards the camera to see if they were aimed at you or not. Because you're a freaking narcissist, bitch. And hey, go drop some tears on your boyfriend's bed. That's been like a roller coaster for me in this year. A roller coaster. And obviously, it, just everyday life, some days are are better than others. That's just life in general. Some days are just better than other days. You heard my best friend speak a little bit earlier. about I guess it would, would be more happier times but even then you put on a smile to hide the pain Long before November 21st, 2021, long before that day, I was struggling. Long before. Feeling dead inside. <clears throat> then feeling hopeful. Then feeling depressed. <clears throat> then feeling happy. Then feeling upset. Just up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Put on a smile to hide the pain. I don't give a shit what kind of pain you're in, you bitch boy Brooks. What about the families? I wonder how many times they had to fake a smile to hide the pain. I don't care about you. You're the one that caused the issue. You're the one that caused the tragedy. I don't care about you. I have been pretty happy to say that there's no one in this world that I hate but guess what then I came across your bitch ass I hate you and I'm comfortable saying that at first I wasn't because I don't want to hate somebody but I cannot believe you are the Biggest slash littlest narcissist I've ever seen. What I mean by that is you're the biggest narcissist, but you're five foot seven and 130 pounds, you little pipsqueak. I cannot stand you, and nobody can. Ninety percent of the time, not even knowing why you're going from point A to B. Why is it going like this? So I think you do a lot of things to numb that. Some people have different things that help them numb it. Some people turn to drugs. Some people turn to alcohol. Some people turn to many different things. Some people isolate themselves. Some people, however, however you deal with it, it's how you deal with it. At that point in my life, I chose to put up a front. No one seen me for how I truly felt, then it would be no questions. 
you see someone and they always have an upbeat appearance or seem to be smiling or seem to be in a joyful mood, there's no reason to quit. Like, what, what, what is there a question? How much turmoil could it be? The first thing they would say is every time I see them, they're okay. It's not okay. It's not. I do believe one thing though as long as you have breath in your body no matter what you're going through where you may be what struggles you have um, what you can't figure out have to find a way to press forward you have to keep faith and you have you have to press forward if nobody seen you how you truly felt then there wouldn't be any questions hey guess what bitch boy Brooks there's still questions I know one that everybody wants to know why the fuck did you drive down that parade route killing and injuring all them people? Was it because bitch boy Brooks was having a bad day so he wanted everybody else to have a bad day? Huh? Punk? Good for nothing jackass? And talking about how if you still have Breath in your body, air in your body. Like, dude, you realize you killed six people, right? And and you realize you tried to kill so many more. You realize it, right? You bitch boy. And I think you're purposely using certain words to, you know, stab at the victims' hearts a little bit more. The survivors of the people that passed and the other people that were injured and then the others that were and still are going through PTSD. Yeah. And I think you literally are using certain words just to hurt these people even more. You cannot tell me any different at all. Keeping the faith and, and moving forward. You're such a jackass. You can't talk about nobody but your damn self, can't you? Dumbass mother effing son of a... I think... Uh, the Apostle Paul said it best. The Apostle Paul said it best when... It, he said, uh, one thing I do, forgetting what's behind me and straining toward the upper call of which Christ has taken a hold of him. Straining for which do you really think we're that dumb, bitch boy Brooks? When you looked down, you looked at the writing on your paper and put your head up and acted as if it was just on your mind, like you know the Bible, like you know Apostle Paul. You got some serious 
serious issues, dude. I cannot stand you. I just, mm, I'm going to have to ask God for forgiveness because I'm, I have this image in my head that I want this to happen to you in prison. I'm not going to voice it. Well, no, yes, I will. I want you to get your ass beat. I do. And it'll happen. Little, you little midget, you five foot seven hundred and thirty pounds. Who the hell do you think you've ever scared except women? That were, that you found the vulnerable women and beat them and treated them like shit. Acknowledging that it's difficult. Acknowledging that there'll be opposition. There'll be hurdles to jump. There'll be mountains to climb. It's not going to be easy. Acknowledging that by saying straining. Straining to move forward. That's what I've been learning. Is it frustrating that sometimes people mistake that for not caring? Yeah. Very frustrating. As hard as it is, you cannot turn back the hands of time. You can't. As much as I wish I had the power to do that, I can't. <clears throat> so I have to look at life going forward not backward I have to look at reality I've moved past the actual tragedy of the day of November 21st, 2021, but I have not moved past uplifting this community in prayer, and I will continue to do that until it's my time. Who do you think you're trying, I mean, who do you think you're fooling here, bitch boy? Who do you think you're fooling? Because the judge surely isn't buying your shit. The prosecution is surely not buying your shit. The victims and survivors surely aren't buying your shit. And if I remember right, I've heard from quite a bit of the victim impact statements and plenty of people said that they can't wish until they can't wish until the day they hear that you you passed on in prison so i'm thinking they want that more than they want some evil vile vindictive man child bitch boy to pray whatever he's gonna pray on them. You know what you could have did? Not created these victims. That's what you could have did, you dumbass. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I can't stand this son of a bitch. I really can't. I mean, I am so 100% serious on that. I cannot stand him. 
There's times when I physically want to punch something and pretend it's his face, but I am not going to break my hand for this son of a beach. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Check the description. I really, 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 really would love to have more of, of you join my memberships. When I get to 20 people on my memberships, I'm going to do a giveaway. So I don't know how long that's going to take, but we'll see. I'm changing who I am. I'm making a new plan. Rearranging my life and I won't look back ever again. Yeah. You ain't see me activated. You better hope that you never see me agitated. I think about my actions, plan.